He was a principled leader when he was rising in the Florida House of Representatives. He supported limited government when he was 30 points down in the polls. And he's the same guy today as he was then. And I am just honored and privileged to be a small part of this campaign and have an opportunity to introduce to you <laughs> a man who I admire and respect and I believe will be Florida's next United States Senator, my friend and yours, Marco Rubio. <laughs> This is the single greatest country in the history of the world. There's never been a place like the United States in all of human history. It's something that I know to be true, not because I read an article about it or because of a magazine or a documentary somewhere, but because my life experience teaches me that. I am one generation removed from a very different life. But now I believe we are living at a time when the people who run this country, the people in charge in the White House and in Congress, are asking us to abandon all the things that have made this possible and exchange it for something more like the rest of the world. In essence, what this election is about is a choice. Do we want to continue to be exceptional? Or are we prepared to become like everybody else? I don't see anybody else running who is willing to go to Washington and stand up to this agenda, call it for what it is, and offer in its place a clear alternative. I'm really excited today to have with me one of the great voices and leaders in the, American, in, Rep in the Republican Party and in the American conservative movement, Governor Mitt Romney. <laughs> Mitt Romney is a conservative from Massachusetts before Scott Brown was cool. <laughs> and that's why today I am honored and privileged to introduce to you our latest endorsement the great, the, the great former governor of the state of Massachusetts, Mitt Romney. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Boy, you heard, you heard it right there. You know that? Thanks, you guys. I am so pleased to be here today with so many friends. Boy, this feels like coming home again. Oh, you're wonderful to be here and to join me in endorsing this extraordinary man. If anyone wondered why it is I'm behind his campaign, just listen to what he just said. He said exactly what America needs to hear. This is the greatest nation in the history of the earth. Washington is weakening our nation at the fundamental core, and we need people who will stand up for American exceptionalism and greatness, and that's what this man will do. <laughs> You know, a long, a long time ago, the founders of this nation had a tough decision to make. They had to decide whether this nation would continue to be ruled by a king, if you will, someone who would tell us what to make and how to make it and where to ship it and how much we'd get paid and how much we'd get taxed. Our lives would be very safe, guided by this strong king, by a central government. But instead, they said, no, we're going to let people choose their own course, not just politically, but economically. They're going to decide how they want to live their lives and pursue the dreams of their own heart. And that decision made all the difference. It made America the land of opportunity, a land where people from all over the world came seeking opportunity, seeking the chance to be pioneers and innovators and creators. And that, in turn, has made us the most powerful economy in the world and a nation that has led the world in providing liberty to others. And we have today a conquest, a battle going on in Washington where once again there were people who were, I'll call them the neo-monarchists, who believed that instead of individuals pursuing their own dreams, the government should be able to make those choices. And so they take over banks, and they took over insurance companies, and take over car companies, and they take more and more of your money, and they took over health care. At every turn, they're saying, let us run your world for you. And we're saying no to that. We're saying instead... <laughs> saying instead we want to let Americans pursue their own dreams and we want people like Marco Rubio to be able to lead our nation, to stand up for our values, to stand up for the principles that we shouldn't spend more money than we take in, we shouldn't borrow incessantly from the Chinese or anybody else, we should not put our next generations in massive debt such that they can't enjoy the American dream. And I have to tell you, this guy 
He's an American hero. If anyone wants to know what America stands for, you just look at his life. As the son of Cuban exiles who came here, working class folks, he has worked himself uh, to a point where from a real long shot, he became the Speaker of the House of the state of Florida and now is a candidate for United States Senate for Florida. He's going to be the next United States Senator from Florida as well. <laughs> represents what is good and, and so great about this great land of ours. And I have to say something else as well. I respect Charlie Crist, Governor Crist. I know him. I've, I've talked to him over the, over the years. I, uh, I was uh, instrumental in, in uh, supporting his campaign when he ran for governor. I, I do respect him. And I know that he faces some difficult decisions uh, in, these, uh, in these current days, but I take him at his word. I respect the fact that he said in the debate the other day that, that uh, he was not going to run as an independent that he's going to stay in the Republican primary. And I hope he stays in the Republican Party. Or if he decides that, uh, that he doesn't think he can win that, that he gets, steps aside and gets behind Marco Rubio to make sure we can keep our message. <laughs> I, uh, I expect him to do the right thing. And he helped build the Republican Party in this state, helped make it stronger, helped make it possible for good men and women to run for office as Republicans, bring balance to our state again. I want to make sure that, that he, uh, he respects that great um, uh, building experience he had and does what's necessary to help make sure Marco Rubio, if not him, that Marco Rubio gets elected as the next United States Senator, because it sure would be an enormous mistake for, uh, for anybody to to do something that would make it uh, more likely that Congressman Meek would be elected as United States Senator. That would, be a, that would not be a good idea. So I'm, uh, I'm expecting Governor Chris to do the right thing, uh, either stay in this race or if it doesn't look like he wants to stay here to get behind this man. And let's make sure that we all come together, that we show the entire nation that we believe in the American values that made this nation great, and that we also believe in the principles, the conservative principles, that will assure that in the future that our kids will have an America just as great as the one we've enjoyed. And that's by electing as the next United States Senator from Florida, Marco Rubio. Thanks, you guys.